Howdy, I'm Al the Dog Trainer and hey, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching. This video is being filmed in 8K 3D virtual reality and it's best viewed inside of a headset like this. This is the Oculus Go. So if you have a headset, go ahead and pause the video, maybe save it to your watch later list and go put your headset on because it is truly incredible. So I am producing a series of videos to help you understand how to raise a happy and reliable dog. In these next few videos, I'm going to be going over the head knowledge that you need before you actually get started in training your dog on how to do any of those basic things. So we're going to be talking about stays, we're going to be talking about the dog healing with you, and we're also going to be talking about the dog coming to you. So hey, thanks so much for watching this video, and here we go. Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you about how to get your dog to stay. Stay is one of those most important skills that we can use, and I gotta tell you, I've used it so much in my home, like I'm using it right now with my two dogs, Fritz and Gabby, okay? So, I wanna make it easy for you to understand how to actually go about in teaching this very, very important skill. Now, the first thing I wanna make you aware of is that there are actually different types of stays. I'm gonna be teaching you about the place stay, the down stay, and the sit stay because I believe that those are the most practical and are going to help you the most. Now, the play stay, which is the one that I'm using right now, is very, very useful in so many different circumstances. So here's what I want you to understand first, okay? That showing your dog that there are different consequences for their different choices is actually how you go about training anything. Now, when I say consequences, I'm not talking specifically about punishment, which that has something to do with training, and I mean punishment in the terms of a consequence that tells a dog to do something less, but the vast majority of the things that you're going to be doing when you're actually trying to teach your stay is actually providing comfort and then also providing pleasure. If you're very diligent in your training though, then you're gonna end up showing the dog that hey, you can become hopeful that the reward is eventually going to show up. So as you look at this bed right here, or as you look at this rug that I have right here, I wanna just show you, walk you through a couple of different things that I want you to have in mind before you actually go and grab your dog. Now in the videos to come, I am going to take you through the process of showing you how I taught Gabby to do this, and it might give you some insight into what you can do with your own dog. So as you look at this red rug that I'm on, actually being on top of it, it actually feels fairly comfortable for my feet to actually be on, be on it. Just like with my dogs there, I want them to be comfortable whenever they're on top of the bed. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to get a bed, okay? It helps if it's elevated like this, but a rug will also do well too. When you put your dog on there, you wanna make sure that it's very comfortable and you want to begin to calmly pet your dog and speak very quietly and softly as you're petting your dog each and every time that they get on top of the bed in the beginning. The next thing that I'm going to recommend to you is after you've actually gotten your dog onto the bed, either by luring them with food or by using your leash to put them on there, the next thing you're gonna do is when they're actually on the bed, you'll give them a little bit of food and then when you get them all the way into the down position like my dogs are in, that's when you're actually gonna to begin to deploy the most reward. Now the mistake that most people make when they deploy the most reward is that we get excited, we start petting rapidly, and we disperse the food too fast. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your food and slowly be dispersing it to the dog as you're calmly petting and as you're very quietly and soothingly talking to your dog. Those first two steps, which basically are get your dog on the bed, show them that it's comfortable to be there and then also begin to give them some reward, followed by getting them into the down position on the bed and then deploying a really large reward and it's a calming kind of large reward is gonna help your dog understand that this is a good place. But it is my opinion and I've seen it through the years that that is not enough. When you're doing this exercise in the beginning, I do believe that you should have some kind of training collar or leash on your dog. There's a whole bunch of different ones out there. We recommend starting with a British slip lead because a lot of dogs 
in very non, like in the situations where there's not a lot of distraction are actually going to do really well with that leash. It's not always the right leash when there's a bunch of excitement. So with your slip leash on, after you've gotten the dog on, shown and it's very comfortable to be on this area, you've shown your dog to get into the down, and then you're making a large, significant, calming reward, you actually want your dog to come off the bed when their leash is on them. So when their leash and collar is on them and they actually step off the bed, which is something you want them to do, I want you to, I want you to let your dog take that one step off. You will then use your leash to guide the dog all the way back onto the bed. Once they're there, this is when you slack your leash. So let's just kind of cut through everything, this long discussion that I'm giving you. And I just want to pinpoint it to the three things. You want to show your dog that it's very comfortable to get on and that you give some food for that. You want to show your dog that when they lie down, butt down and elbows down all the way on the bed, that there is a large amount of reward for that, even bigger. And then you also want to teach your dog that if you come off and we didn't specifically ask you to, that then we're going to use the leash to put you back. Don't worry about mistakes at this level. You actually want those mistakes, but keep showing your dog those three different things and it will give your dog the perspective that they're in control and that they can actually choose what happens to them next. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching this video. It means the world to me. If it was helpful for you, it would mean so much if you would like, uh, like this video, if you would also subscribe. I'm sure there's got to be some kind of subscribe button somewhere on here. But hey, if you have any questions that I can answer, please leave those down in the comments below. Well, hey, I'm Al, the dog trainer. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for our next video.